All right guys, today we're gonna to be talking about Sony's new ECM B10 shotgun microphone. So this is what I used to use. This is a Tackstar shotgun microphone with a dead cat on here. And this is the new Sony ECM B10. So size wise, you can see there's a huge difference. If you look at just where they mount, you can see there's already a huge difference in size. But the main thing I don't like about these bigger style shotgun microphones, one, they're really heavy, so they're really hard to balance if you're gonna use a gimbal. Two, it uses a cable, so now you have to add another cable that's gonna be connected to your camera. And three, it uses batteries. So now on top of this, you need to bring a pack of batteries because guess what? You gotta always have extra batteries for your accessories. Recently, I've been shooting a lot of nightclubs and events and they are requiring me to capture the audio from the performers or the DJs because they want, you know, if they get on the microphone, hey, we're in Las Vegas, make some fucking noise. Wherever we're at, they want that audio. The problem is most of the time I'm running gunning and I'm switching back and forth between handheld and gimbal. When I use this thing, I cannot use this on a gimbal because it just will not balance. It it will bounce a little bit, but I've noticed what happens is sometimes it gets too heavy and what'll happen is my gimbal will go into like sleep mode. So the gimbal stops working. So that's the reason why I was trying to get away from this thing. Looking into other microphones, I was looking into the smaller Rode microphones. I was looking into different other couple different brands. But at the end of the day, I found out that Sony made a little shotgun microphone. Cool things about this Sony shotgun microphone. First off is the size. It comes with this uh, little dead cat here, but you can take this off. And this is pretty much what the microphone looks like. It basically fits inside the palm of your hand, super small and compact, has four different pickups here on the top. And like I said, it does come with this little dead cat that has like a little elastic clasp thingy on it. So it just kind of slides over the top. It just fits on your microphone like that, which is really nice. As far as features wise, that's really cool about this microphone, you can capture different shapes. It has three different modes in the back. Mode number one is gonna be for straight on. So if you're interviewing someone and they're talking, you just wanna get the audio right at them and you don't wanna pick up any audio on the sides or behind you, mode number one is gonna work perfect for that. Mode number two is not only gonna capture the front, but also capture the sides. So if you're maybe doing talking head with maybe multiple people, you can kind of point it in the middle and it'll capture both sounds from both people. Option number three is all around sound. So let's say you're at a concert or a live event and you just wanna capture ambient sound from all the way around you. Well, mode number three is gonna give you that feature so you can capture all the audio around you 360 degrees. And this is gonna use Sony's new MyShoe technology. So this doesn't require any batteries to operate. It's as soon as this connects to the top of your Sony hot shoe, it basically will turn on and power up. As long as your camera has power, your microphone will have power, which is really cool because you never have to worry about your microphone dying, which is really nice. One of the other cool features about the microphone is it has built-in shock absorbers, I guess you could say. So when you're moving around, it's gonna absorb all the movement that you're doing. You're not gonna have to worry about that sound. Some of these other microphones, they do have that built-in, but they use like rubber bands and stuff like that. And it can get a little bulky sometimes. The microphone is compact, captures great audio, doesn't use batteries, and has the anti-shock built in. But like I was saying, the best part about this microphone is the size. It's so light, it doesn't affect your balance at all. You can go from handheld shooting and you can just throw it right on your gimbal. And guess what? You're not gonna have any problems balancing this thing. Look at that, perfectly balanced because look how small it is. The microphone itself is not that big, right? It's not a really big microphone. So balance wise, it's gonna be pretty easy to balance. Now, comparing it to my old microphone, look at the size of this thing. This thing is so big and it's so heavy. The center of gravity on this microphone is probably about right here somewhere. Well, the problem is the bracket's back here. So once you have the bracket on, it's already top heavy. It wants to go like this, right? And as you know, balancing gimbals can be very difficult because you need to balance all the different axes. You need to balance it forward, backwards, and also side to side. And with this, it makes it very difficult. Can you balance it with a gimbal? Yes, you can if you try really hard. The problem is it'll balance for a second. The second you tilt the camera either forward or backwards just a little bit, your camera's gonna go whoop or it's gonna go whoop and you're gonna have issues with it because it's just too heavy. Now, they do make a bigger version of this microphone that has more inputs. Do you need that bigger microphone? Personally, I haven't used it. I would say no, because I feel like this is more than enough to capture the audio that you need. I've shot multiple events, live performances, DJ, stuff like that with this microphone so far and the audio quality I've got on it has been really good. All in all, just a really good microphone, really Really, really, really happy with it. 
and I would highly recommend this microphone to anyone who is a Sony user who's looking for a really small, portable microphone they can use with both handheld and gimbal use. All right guys, so that was the Sony ECM B10 shotgun microphone. It's currently selling for $250. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. If you have any questions or comments about this microphone setup or about my setup in general, feel free to leave those down below. If this video was helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. And until next time guys, see ya.